Thank you. Okay, I'd like you to draw this. Can you draw this for me? Draw this. Okay. As best as you can. Doesn't have to be a work of art. You're about to see how bad mine will be. Volume and capacity. Now, you might recall... Uh, actually, I'm just going to pinch this. Oh, no, it's not. Um, you might recall... Um, I asked you to fill out... Oh, it's beautifully done. Um, I asked you to fill out a table earlier, like a few... A few couple weeks ago actually, which had all kinds of measurements for different kinds of units, right? And do you remember what's the difference between volume and capacity? They're very, very similar to each other. Can you take this? Yeah, Nikhil. Wait, isn't volume how much is inside the space? Oh, so very close. So that's capacity, right? So let's, let's talk about that. So that's how much stuff you can fit inside an object, right? So most of you probably recognize the capacity of this is... Three liters. Ooh, two liters. Two liters. Two liters. Two liters. Two liters. So we measure capacity in liters, whereas volume is the number of the amount of stuff that actually makes up an object. And those, those can be quite different. Okay. So this is the stuff that makes up the object. Or rather, it's the space that the object takes up. Okay? So, the important relationship that connects these two together is that one cubic centimeter. And I'd love you to actually draw, we've done this before, I'd love you to draw a cubic centimeter to scale on your page, right? So most of you have a five millimeter grid there, so you want to pick out like one centimeter by one centimeter will look like that, right? And then you can go ahead and you can turn that into a prism. This one cubic centimeter is exactly equal to, we define it to be equal to, one milliliter, okay? Which we abbreviate to mils. But it's worth commenting that that is milli and that is liter, okay? So therefore, uh, how many milliliters are in this two liter bottle? Think about it, think about what milli means. Yeah, very good. So a milliliter is one thousandth of a liter. And if you've got two liters in here, there must be two thousand of them in there. Okay? So therefore, as an example, this thing here, right? If we're saying it's got two thousand mils in there, then what must its volume be? Not a complicated question. Yeah, Christian. Two liters. Ooh, hold on. Two. This is I've already got a capacity. What will the volume be? Two thousand <laughs> cubic centimeters. Okay. Now, interestingly, just before this, right, I got um, I planted someone to do some measurements for me. Can you tell me what the um, measurements are that you actually measured out? Do you have them there? Twenty-nine by nine. Twenty-nine. So this thing here, you can put onto your diagram now, is twenty-nine centimeters, and is it a square base? Is it a square base? Yes. Yeah, does that look square to you guys? Yeah, roughly, yeah. roughly. I mean, I know it's curvy. Yeah. So, here on the bottom, if we were to imagine, I know it's not, but if we were to imagine that it was like a prism, because it's mostly a prism, right? And this is 9 by 9. What's the area down here? Nine. If it's a square. 9 times 9? 81. It's 81 square centimetres. 9 times 9. 9 times 9. Okay? Now, you might have a calculator within easy reach there. Can someone tell me what 29 times 81 is going to be? 29 times 81? Yep. 21. 2349. 2349? Yeah, that's right. 29 times 81? Two, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. 2,300. Okay, so, keep in mind, we estimated all that, yeah? Because look, this is not a perfect rectangular prism, is it? Right? It's got all kinds of curvy bits. It's even got like a hole through it. Right, so it's not really a prison. Oh. Oh. It's the like yeah. oh. Okay, so all kinds of bits have, cut, have been cut out. How much has been cut out? Look, how much has been cut out? If this is what gives me two liters, yeah, I must be missing 349 cubic, sorry, that should be a three, cubic centimeters. Yeah? So that's accounted for by the fact that it's kind of rounded, it's kind of rounded, and then you've got bits cut out of it so we have a handle. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. But that's really all there is to capacity, right? Um, there are some conversions you can do, but they're super basic. They're even more basic than the ones you already know. So maybe you want to draw one of these for me. Uh, okay. You can put in liters, 
milliliters. Megaliters. Uh, you can pop kiloliters. megaliters or kiloliters is more common. Right? Kilo. Yeah, go around. So we already know if we want to go from mils to liters, right? I got 2,000 mils in here, so what do I have to do to this number to turn it into the number of liters? Do I multiply or divide? I divide because I'm going from a little unit to a big one. What about to go another step to go from liters to kiloliters? A million. Oh. If I was going directly, I would go a million. But remember, kilo means three. a thousand, right? No. So there are three zeros. Three. I don't need that. Three zeros. I'll run with that. Okay. And of course, in the opposite direction, I'd have to multiply instead of dividing. Okay. Now there is one more across the end here. If you want, if you've got space there, it's not that common. But it's a capital M rather than a little m. Very, very different. Does anyone know what it stands for? Mega. Mega. And again, it's a thousand. 